Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to see into surface area and volume of solids. So, let's get started. First of all, we are going to study the surface area of a right circular cylinder. Now, if you look at this cylinder, its radius is given as R and the height is given as H. If you take this cylinder, there are three surfaces. You have a curved surface and two plain circular surfaces. Now, first of all, let's take this curved surface. If you open this cylinder curved surface, you will be getting a rectangle like this, where the height of the rectangle is h and the length is 2 pi r. How did I take this 2 pi r? You know the upper part of the cylinder is a circle. The circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So, when it comes to a rectangle like this, the circumference of the top surface will be the length of this rectangle. So, when you know the length and the breadth of the rectangle, you know its area will be length into breadth. That is 2 pi r h in this case. Now, this is the area of the curved surface of the cylinder. And when you come to the other two surfaces, you have two flat surfaces like this or two plane surfaces like this. It is a circle. The surface area of the circle is pi r squared. Now, the total surface area will be then 2 pi r h plus twice pi r squared because there are two circular surfaces. Right. Now, let's look into some example on how these two equations are used. The first example tells us the base radius of a cylinder is 7 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters. So, let me mark it in a diagram like this. The first part in this question is find the area of a plane face. The plane face is the circular face. So, we know area of one plane face will be pi r squared and then once when you substitute the values, now you can see instead of r we have put 7. So, then this 7 and this 7 can be cancelled. Then 22 into 7 is 154 square centimeters. The second part of the question tells us find the area of the curved surface. Curved surface is this part and then we know the area of the curved surface will be 2 pi r h. Once when we substitute the values like this, again we can cancel out this 7 and this 7. Now the answer will be 660 square centimeters. And then the third part of the question tells find the total surface area. So, it's very simple. We have to add the two surface areas we found before. And now, in this case, you have to clearly note that here it is 2 pi r squared and here we have found only pi r squared. So, when you substitute the values, you have to multiply that by 2 and add. So, once when added, you get the answer as 968 square centimeters. Fine. Let's move on to the next part and that's another example. The surface area of a solid metal cylinder is 2442 square centimeters. Now, the sum of its radius and height is 37 centimeters. We have to find out the radius of the cylinder in the first place part. Now, if we take r and h as the radius and the height of the cylinder, we can write down an equation like r plus h is equal to 37 centimeters because it is given in the question. And then we know the total surface area is equal to 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared and that is according to the question is equal to 2442 square centimeters. Now, in this equation, you can see that 2 pi r is common to both the terms. So, we can take it out of a bracket like this, where 
H and R will be remaining inside the bracket. So, H plus R inside the bracket, 2 pi R outside. Now, we know from the first part of our working from this part, uh, R plus H is equal to 37. So, instead of R plus H, I put 37 and 2 pi I have substituted. Now, what we have to do is to subject R. Once when you subject R, you will get the values like this. And if you simplify, you will get the answer for R as 10.5 centimeters. Fine. Let's move on to the next part. The next part tells us to find the area of the curved surface of the cylinder. To find out the area of the curved surface of the cylinder, first of all, we have to find out what is H. Right now we know R plus H is 37. Already we found R is 10.5. So from that we can find out H is equal to 26.5 centimeters. And then area of the curved surface will be 2 pi R H. Substitute the values. And if you find the answer, it will be 1749 square centimeters. Let's move on to the next part. That is surface area of a prism. Now, when we think of a prism or when you hear the word prism, at once you remember the triangular prism. But the prisms have some special properties and uh, special properties of right prism we are going to see first of all. So, that is it has a uniform cross section from top to bottom, from the base to the top. The cross section will be having the same size. Now, for an example, if you take a triangular prism, bottom to top, it will be a triangle. But when you come to a cone, the base will be a larger circle. And when you go to the top, the size of the circle will reduce. So, then that is not a right prism. And then the next part is cross section takes the shape of a polygon. Now, then cross section is always taking the shape of a polygon. Polygon is a closed plane figure with straight lines. And then the side faces are rectangles. Always a prism has rectangular faces on its sides and at the two ends it will have some different polygonal shape. Now, the faces at the two ends are perpendicular to the side faces. That is the next property of a right prism. And here are some right prisms. Fine. Now, in this grade, we have to find out the surface area of the right triangular prism. So, let us let us see how to do that. Now, here I have given you a triangular prism with some lengths mentioned. And the first part is to find out the area of the triangular faces. Now, you can see there are two triangular faces. You have one triangular face here and another triangular face at the bottom, right? So, these two triangular faces, we are going to find out the area. The base is taken as 5 and the height in this case is 8 because here you can see it is a right angled triangle. So, then, while when you substitute the values, the answer becomes once when the 2 and 2 is cancelled, the answer is 40 square centimeters. That is the two triangles. Let's move on to the next part. That is area of the first triangular face. In this case, the first triangular face I have considered is the rectangular face, this rectangular face. Here you have a rectangle, this rectangular face. That is 5 into 3, 15. And then let's move on to the next part. The next rectangular face or the second rectangular face. The second rectangular face I have considered is this one. This one I have marked as taken as 2, that one as 1. And then uh, when you multiply 3 into 8, it is 24. And the third rectangular face I have taken is this rectangular face. So, that is 3 to 10, 30. So, we have found the surface area of the 
faces of the right triangular prism like that. So, to find out the total surface area, we have to add the values. Then you get 109 square centimeters. So, this is how you find out the surface area of a right triangular prism. Fine. Now, we are going to the next section that is volume. And first of all, we are going to see volume of a cylinder. So, if you take the volume of a cylinder, this is very simple. What you have to do is find the base area and multiply it by the perpendicular height of the cylinder. So, cross sectional area can be taken as pi r squared because the base is a circle. So, area is pi r squared into h, then the volume of a cylinder will be pi r squared h. Let's see how to substitute values and find out it in questions. The first example tells us find the volume of a right circular cylinder of radius 14 centimeters and 20 centimeters of height, right? It's marked in the diagram like this. Very simple. All what you have to do is to substitute values like this. Now here you can see 7 and 14 can be cancelled. Here it will be 2 and then when you do the multiplication, you will get the answer as 12,320 cubic centimeters. You should remember the unit carefully because this is volume. It should be cubic centimeters, right? Fine. Then moving on to the next part, that is volume of a prism. Now, this also follows the same principle. Take the cross-sectional area and multiply by the length of the prism. Now, here this is a triangle. So, here this is the base taken as B and the perpendicular height of the face is taken as simple H and the length is taken as simple L. So, volume of a prism is equal to half into base into height into its length. Let's look into an example. Find the volume of the triangular prism given. This is the triangular prism given. Now, here you have to clearly understand which is the base, which is the height and which is the length of the prism. Now, in this prism, you can see this, if you take this triangular, this triangular face, here, this can be taken as the base, 8 can be taken as the height and this H, this 3 will be the length. So, once when the values are substituted, you will get the answer as 60 cubic centimeters. The next example, a vessel as in the figure is completely filled with water and all the water is poured into a circular cylinder of radius 7 centimeters. To what height does the water level rise? In the cylinder. So, this when you pour it into a cylinder, the water level I have marked as H and now we are going to find out what is H. So, first of all, let us write down an equation. Now, we know the volume of the prism is equal to the volume of water in the cylinder. So, first of all, let, it, let us write it down and then substitute the values. We know volume of the prism will be half into base into height into length. And the volume of water in the cylinder will be pi r squared h. Now, here in this case, you have to remember this h here is the height of the water level that you have to clearly understand. Right. Then, once when you substitute the values, now here you can see base I have taken as 7, height is 9 and the length of the prism is 22. Uh, in case of the cylinder, radius is 7, height is h. Now, what can we cancel off here? Uh, you can see this 7 can be cancelled out with one of these 7s. And then on either sides of the equal side, you have 22. So, one of the 22s here in one side can be cancelled out with the other 22 like this as well. And then here this 7 and this 7 also can be cancelled. Now, in one side, H is alone, H is automatically subjected and then the other side you have 9 divided by 2. 
that is 4.5. So, H is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Hope I made myself clear regarding surface area of solids and volume of solids, particularly the prism and the cylinder. See you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.